Tonight, Columbus police want to remind everyone of the safety measures in the short north going into this holiday weekend. The new security was added last weekend for the first time. In just three days, police made seven felony arrests, eight arrests on warrants, and recovered seven guns. But it also resulted in 297 parking tickets and more than 100 cars being impounded. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills is live in the short north tonight. And Lindsay, how are people feeling about these safety measures? Yolanda, I talked to one business owner off camera today who says his business continues to take a hit, but he hopes this is a price to pay for safety in the long run. Our cameras captured the moment the Columbus Police Mobile Command Tower went up once again on North High Street Friday afternoon. These additional cameras and signs reminding of the overnight parking ban, a reminder of the new safety measures in place. Hopefully they're they're worth doing. Something has to give. We spoke to people who live here who say they are hopeful this will set the stage for the summer, keeping crime at bay. Just hoping everybody stays level headed and mindful of others. It's helpful to say the least. Uh, it's definitely a needed thing to have around here. Uh, we're still able to go out and enjoy the bars and whatnot, so it's not too much of, a, of an issue. Uh, I don't know why they closed down the street meet after 12, but hey, <laughs> I don't make the decisions. Some food truck and restaurant owners say over the last month, their businesses have taken a financial hit. That's likely because some people are opting to stay home. If anything, I think people have like moved their like going out to like staying ins. Um, we go, it's, we go to people's houses now instead of going to the bars. Days ago, a bill looking to ban cities from imposing curfews, except for minors and in emergency situations, was introduced at the state house. The sponsor of the bill says it's to support small businesses. Meanwhile, Columbus police say the midnight curfew for minors and food trucks and the voluntary midnight curfew for restaurants and bars is working. There were no shootings last weekend, unlike the previous two weekends. Residents are hopeful this is a new trend. Kind of worked. You think so? I think it did. I mean, it kind of is depressing for like people who actually go out and live down here, but like, it, I think it worked. And police say they will continue enforcement of reckless driving. They say just last weekend alone, there were more than 200 traffic violations. Live in the short north, Lindsay Mills, 10 TV News.